Friday night in Lightning Ridge. Fucking going off. Morning, everyone. It's fucking cold out here, eh? There's some sort of... I don't know, some morning thing. Oh, fucking camera screen's broken. I have to buy another one. Oh, it's pissed me off. I'm gonna make a coffee. Fuck it. He's gonna go do something straight away, but no, I'm gonna make a coffee first. Fuck this shit. Ta da! I'm in the pool. How good's this? That's the big pool. I'm not allowed in the big pool because that's for the big boys. I'm gonna sit in the little one where you can sit on the ground. Otherwise, the water's up to here in the big one over there. And, um. Sort of like another grey nomad orgy. Well, that's the pools. Um, I'm gonna go get something to eat. What do you reckon? Bacon egg roll? Bacon egg roll. Bacon egg roll. Let's get a bacon egg roll. Coffee. And a what? A coffee. And a coffee. Just like that. Ta da! Bacon and egg roll. Fucking dear, seven bucks fifty. And then a coffee times two was like twenty four bucks. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Anybody that's prepared to come out to Light in Ridge and live out here and set up a good takeaway shop would be good because they shut really early and everything's really expensive and you would absolutely clean up out here with a takeaway shop. Just saying. Thought I'll show you the house that we're staying in. It's um fairly modern for out here. So um, that's Shane's bed up the back, up in the corner, and I'm just camped out the back there. Um, at night time, we've got to change Shane up so he doesn't run away. Yeah, nah, not really. Some fucking joint in town. There it is. end up with another girlfriend I'm gonna buy a lawnmower like this so they don't get bored and run away yeah well How are you, mate? What's this thing here? Just uh, sculpture thing you made up. Okay. That's a doorbell. That's a doorbell? Yeah, it works. Yeah. Here we go, here's a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, eh? There's a word for overcomplicated things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all these cool stuff out here with Peter Cook. The uh, conveyor that feeds uh, brings the shit up and dumps into the edge. Yeah, it's a conveyor. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, sorry, the actual mining hoist. Yeah. The bucket that comes up out of the ground, yeah. 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 I'll have a chat with him and see if we can put Shano. Um, we'll try this street glide in on this one. Before we go, we'll check out this place. That's an old uh, Ural. Really? 
Oh, they've come back, eh? Hey? Well, they're selling new ones now. Here we go. This is some of the latest creations. That bad boy. Got a basket case one and the complete one. Oh, I just got a lot of ideas floating yeah. around, mate, you know. That one's kind of, see that's an old cappuccino boiler. Oh, yeah. That'll be the tank across the top. And the idea is you, you pedal it through the magneto, superheats the steam, powers the uh, three litre V twin, and off you go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's me, me um, board tracker. Right. <laughs> steam powered board, board tracker. That thing's an alien confinement chamber when it's finished. That's a Chinese earthquake detector over there. A Chinese earthquake detector. <laughs> <laughs> they actually the made one for the real two, 2,000 years ago. And what, what the, the real one had was a pendulum went right down into the earth in a hole they drilled. Mm. And with this instrument, if there was an earthquake 3,000 miles away to the west, the dragon face of west, the marble would drop out of his mouth. And the emperor would know before any horse rider or anything could get to him that there'd been an earthquake to the west. Right. Or the east, or the north, depends which marble falls out, you know, because it was that sensitive of an instrument. No, it's a fact. It's a fact, yeah. 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 Two, 2,000 years ago they built, and this is my version of it, it doesn't actually work, I haven't got no, it's, Yeah, it's just got to look plausible. Well, these little gremlins in here. Yeah, oh, just bits and pieces, you know, just shit you, know. you put in there. So, um, yeah, so he could then send an army over to help. Or invade, you know, why they're fucked. Oh, right. <laughs> so he, he had the advanced information before any any In horse telegraph or anything. Yeah, yeah. Clever, eh? So they were them chinks back in the day. They're too clever now. I'll cut that video. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in. What's a typewriter for? What are you going to do with a typewriter? Probably oh, going to say it. Part of the uh, alien confinement. I'm not sure yet. You know, we'll just. I thought accumulate this stuff. And yeah, I thought you'd say something smart like um, make a letter. Type a letter. I've got too many smart things to say. Hey, Dick Smith did that. He was here the other day. Yeah, right. There you go. This is the spring we see you riding around on, eh? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good on the old girl. Don't know if you can see that, but I'm sure Pete's ecstatic that Dick Smith did that. Well, I figured he could afford to pay me for a re <laughs> <laughs> He just sold one of his companies for 200 million, so he's um, poor, poor bugger. There's his Harley. He turned up in an aeroplane with um, his daughter and it, just to come up the lottery to buy an Opal that she'd lost out of her ring yeah. and she had to get tired of replacement. He had a uh, Macca from all over Australia. Yeah. yeah. They've done an interview with him. Oh, you'd get them all in. Oh, they not oh, It seems to be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We have a little chook chaser for off-road bobber. <laughs> and then in this room in here is uh, where we do our tailing out. Okay. You might have seen it on the show. Yeah, right? seen it on the telly. This is the room, eh? Yeah, this is it. The land of the fatal room of broken dreams. This is this is where it all happens. <laughs> it makes five bucks a day. <laughs> here we go. So not many people do it like this. I'm the only bloke that does it like this. Everyone else does it out on their edges yeah. on site, yeah. out in the weather and the fucking elements. So I've got the air conditioner. Yeah, you're a bit spoiled, are you? You're doing it real tough. Life, beer fridge three steps away. Beer yeah, roll is so sorry for you. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning Ridge Opal doesn't fluoresce. That sucker Cooper P glows in the dark. Oh, yeah. I think it must have a bit more radioactivity or something in it than we have. And theirs will glow, whereas ours fuck all, and, and only the white stuff glows, and we want black oval anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. No, I find these LED lights are perfect. You can pick up a, you know, a match head of colour with yeah. those. Yeah, no worries. I don't miss. We don't miss nothing. Yeah, miss yeah. your polish up machine. You're cutting yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get something off the table, bang, bang it straight on the wheels. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can <coughs> rub them up and see if there's anything in it. And this one, what's this? Oh, that's just, just a, a t-shirt thing I designed once and made one t-shirt and didn't worry about doing it anymore. I was going to say, is that your back patch? It's, <laughs> tough it's got, got the rockers, eh? Yeah.
so many cool things out here, but we've got to move on, get on to the next place. Check it around. Anyway, that's um, that's Peter Cook off the Opal Miner show. What happened is I broke the camera screen on the camera, and when I went to when I did realise I'd done it, which was what you've seen or just before, everything else after that was didn't work. So today I've already done heaps of it already. But today's just about a reenactment of what I've done while I'm at Lightning Ridge. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a little bit different.